What the frick is going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Aston. I'm Leanne. Two quick things about us. When I'm not on YouTube, I'm an artist. And I'm bilingual. You are? Ooh. Okay, <laughs> uh, we're back today for episode seven of Dahmer. <laughs> 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 um, okay, so last episode was the, um, the worst episode so far. Mm -hmm. uh we haven't done this this in a while um i guess we just needed a break that we didn't know about it kind of just happened yeah. um but the show is really good the show is really good uh i was looking forward to it at a certain point and now i'm back to not oh, wanting man. to watch this joke. it's not that we don't want to watch it it's that it's like you know it is what it is y'all know because y'all seen it too but um yeah hopefully um he dies soon or he gets stabbed or something I, i'm very i'm really tired of hearing him talk i'm really and, uh, yeah, and just, everything about him is so irritating. He's always complaining and blaming other people. And like, he'll have somebody dead in the, in the closet. And someone will be like, was that a dead person yelling in your closet? And he'll be like, oh my gosh, why are you always talking about my closet? Like, bro, it, you're wrong. You did it. He's like, I can't have any more hobbies. Like, no, right. you can't, yeah. clearly. Okay, so, F. Jeff Dahmer. Um, we're about to get into it. First episode guy. Yes, yeah, the first episode guy. Yeah. Yeah. Is the brightness all the way up? You want it up more? You know something I didn't um really realize until like right now. What? Everybody on the show is doing a superb job acting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, it doesn't feel like a show. Yeah. Mm. She don't even know whether, what, what she should do because they never do anything. Yeah, that's true. Oh, absolutely not. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I know that nigga didn't just... I don't know what she was trying said, to do. <laughs> Why do they look mad? Grab, gripping them up all crazy. Right. I wonder how they filmed this. Did they do this all in the first episode? Right. They had to, right? This is the guy who killed me. And now she's probably even more terrified because she's like, everything I said is, is coming mm -hmm. true. you over and over a million times that something was going on and you know what you did y'all did nothing nothing well y'all motherfuckers knew mm. you knew sir calm down you knew this motherfucker was killing people what y'all finding it hmm? and, and what y'all gonna do about this young man you see he obviously needs to be taken care of this is police business if you just go back inside i called you for what for months and now you finally came and it's too late y'all came too late some neighbors here had complained of a stench for almost a year but kept their ids one of his victims is only 14 years old christ this case get any worse that y'all flopped on super flopped what so you're saying that one of the victims had actually managed to escape and two of your officers oh my. escorted him back to Dahmer's. Looks that way. The um. Malaysian boys. We're still investigating the matter, but apparently a concerned citizen tried to intervene and save the boy, but she was ignored. Glenda Cleveland. Mm. I hesitate to ask. She's black. Yes, Tony is my son. Hmm. Uh, hi. Um, we're with the Milwaukee Police mm. Department. What's going on? Um, these men are with the police. Is he? I, I come, Lord. Can we speak to your mother and father? Pa, it's about Conrad. Maybe come in. Yeah. Hey, young girl, can't. About Conrad. Is he okay? 
Mr. and Mrs. Sintasim Fon. I'm sorry to say that your son is dead. Oh, Y'all found Harold's body with those other ones, didn't you? It appears he was murdered by a man named Jeffrey Dahmer. That man molested my brother Samsak. He was supposed to be in jail. You knew about him. What? No. No, no, we only found out. Conorak was only 14 years old. Can we come in, ma'am? No, you may not. Our clients would not like that kind of attention. And Glenda, yes, there have been some complaints about you from some of the other ladies who work in your division. I'm gonna bring that I up see now. You crying sometimes at your desk. I try not to cause a scene. I, I, I do. I try. Uh, you gotta understand that. I get up. I excuse myself. I go to the restroom for a private moment when those feelings rise up. Who made the zombies? <clears throat> Did you ever see the zombies? I'm. I'm just curious. Inappropriate, lady. Right. The frick. Who's this? I don't know. Reverend Jackson, I have to confess. I have my reservations about you getting involved in this case. Jesse Jackson? Go on, son. Speak your mind. Well. The detective from Brian Breaking King. Bad that was helping Hank. Natasha Harlins. Central Park Five. If you want to slay a dragon, son, you got to attack it from all angles. And injustice is one hell of a beast. <sighs> the guy next to him looked like um, John David Washington. I the same thing. Like everyone else. But the more I learned about the case, the more I realized it was not just a gruesome horror show. It's a metaphor for all the social ills that plague our nation. It's a delicate situation. Our cops have been getting rocks thrown at them. We nearly had a riot break out the other night. The last thing that we need right now. What? A national civil rights leader shining a light on your police department's incompetence? For an outside agitator to further inflame racial tensions. Mm. He's the great comes respect, gently. Chief, I think we're well past that. Yes. 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 So I hear you're a data entry clerk. Yes, that is right, Reverend. I've been doing it since my daughter Sandra was a baby. No, no matter what we do or how loud we shout, they, they never listen. The cops are avoiding it on purpose because mm -hmm. they know it's going to make them look bad. I'll listen. Yeah. Hey. Jeff, sorry to bother you, but there's a smell coming from your apartment. A smell? A stench. Came through the vent so strong, I almost threw up. Mm. Can I'm we sorry. stop seeing him? Might have been the barbecue. I was trying out a new way to cook it. I guess I left the meat set up too long. You can smell it through your vent? Like it was in the next room. Hmm. Well. I promise I'll throw it out first thing. I won't we'll cook it like that again. I really am sorry. Wait, Good Jeff, night. is every... Now, you do got a few shady characters that you got to look out for. Well, I'll keep my eyes open. Thanks, Glenda. You have a good one. You too, Dean. Hey. You're the new guy, right? Yeah, I'm Dean. Jeff. Hey, Jeff. I'm seeing you around. <laughs> Have you now. So, Dean, what kind of stuff are you into? Um, well... I'm into building monster models. 
Not your mouth. That's the thing. Cool. Mm. <laughs> Well, um, maybe I could bring some brewskis by your place and we could, uh, build one together. Brewskis? I sure would. Me too. I mean, get my keys and shit. Sure. Okay. <laughs> i have to cut that out. Glenda? Mm -hmm. I'm to save this nigga, please. I hope this is before the kid stuff. Why is it not? Because if it's after the kid, there's no way she wouldn't warn him. Hmm. And if she doesn't warn him, she's just as implicit. I want you to go over there and see what the hell he's up to. I am telling you, between the noises and the smells, something ain't right. I can give him a warning about the noise complaint and the smells. But Mr. Dama's a good tenant. Yeah, I, 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 I called and I complained about him before. I think I spoke with an officer, Vaznarak or Bowsiak or... Yes, I see a record of the conversation. So what's the issue, ma'am? A few minutes ago, I heard screaming coming from his apartment. Screaming? Like an argument? No, like... like somebody in pain. Do you still hear it? No. It stopped. But, officer, can you please just send somebody out here to check it out? I can send a unit to stop by his place tomorrow. Tomorrow? Sir, tomorrow could be too late. Mm. I'm sorry, man. I'm in an active situation. That's the best I can do. Whenever I'm I call, y'all say the same thing. Hmm? Or I'm going to say somebody yep, tomorrow. Still and nobody yeah, right right shows. Is there anything else I can help you with, ma'am? Thank you for your time. Miss Cleveland. We need to talk. Building manager. Okay, see? This letter is postmarked. Two weeks ago, that's around the time I saw him talking to Jeff. He ain't picked up his mail since. Okay. It's an eviction notice. I'm sorry. What? Who are you talking about? No, no. Come on. It's the smell, Jeff. I keep getting complaints. Well, that's why I got a cleaning crew in. It cost me $49. Well, okay, but it doesn't matter. You have 30 days, okay? I'm sorry. So how does he stay? Right. Come on, man. You know I just got fired today. I'm sorry, Jeff. That just adds People to why I should have been you. Mm -hmm. You're not the only person I got to look out for, okay? Fuck! Mm. Get out. Get the frick out. The frick up out of here, Jeff. Thanks for your forty-nine dollars. Now get the frick out. It was Glenda, wasn't it? She's the one who complained. Yes. I'm sorry, Jeff. Hi. So listen, I just want to say, I'm really sorry, okay? And if you take back the complaint, I promise. I won't cook anymore. No, Jeff. It's done. All right? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I just... Can I come inside just for a sec? Why? Because I got a cleaning crew in a day that cost me $49. Which I don't have because I just got fired. Whose fault is that? I just... I want to see if I was still stinking up your place. Girl. Okay? No! Okay. I just made you a pizza is all. It's a creative mm -hmm. shot. It's 
That was nice. I am not scared of you. Well, come on, sit down then. Jeez, they got you something. I'll sit down with you, but it ain't gonna change nothing. <laughs> you getting evicted, <laughs> but it ain't my problem. All right. The frick up out of here. I know, okay? I'm just trying to make peace here. Say I'm sorry. That's people. It's a sandwich. <laughs> Thank you. I'll eat it later. Oh. Eat it now. She better freaking not. Picture. I made that just for you. She better freaking not. Go ahead. She better freaking not. What's in that? Right. It's just meat. If she what eats this, it's, it's like a uh, pulled pork. If she tastes this sandwich right now, I'm out. I'm, I don't believe any of the show. I'm not eating that. Thank you. Why? You're a vegetarian? No. It's because you're dirty I'm self I'm not a vegetarian. But I'm not eating a sandwich that my neighbor made when his apartment been smelling like a dead raccoon's ass <laughs> sticking up my house since the day he moved in. Talk to him. Talk to him. Get out. Telling on me when I ain't done nothing wrong. Uh, uh, I ain't your mama, Jeff. Take back the complaint. No. Whore. I told you. It's done. No, it isn't. It doesn't even smell in here. Oh, my gosh. Take back the complaint. Oh, no. my gosh. I made you a sandwich. Oh, my gosh. I hate this nigga so much. Oh, what my do you goodness. Do with huh? Where? Like in that like damn apartment. The smells, uh, uh, the power tools going all hours of the night. I'm just building something. Well, what about the screaming? What's screaming? I hear screaming coming from your apartment. Hmm. Sometimes I have nightmares. What about that little Asian boy? See, it was after mm -hmm. him. Guys, why didn't she warn the guy? And what about Dean Vaughn? You was talking to him in the hallway, then I never saw him after that. Tell you what, he's little mannerisms. You tell me where he is, I'll take back the complaint. Talk. He looked at the sandwich, Leanne. I don't know where he went. He looked down at the sandwich. All right, then. You're moving out. <laughs> moving out. Eat the sandwich. I made it for you. Boy, take the sandwich and shove it. I'll up. eat it later. I want to see you try it. See if you like it. Get out of my apartment. Talk to this nigga. Get the frick up out of here! Oh my god. Eat it. Get out of my house. Wow. Wow. That scene when he walked in and the door stayed open just paid off because he was about to do something crazy if he didn't hear them. Mm -hmm. Okay. After this, I'm taking a complaint back and I'm moving. <laughs> this is Glenda Cleveland. Can you send an officer to the Oxford Apartments? What's the emergency? Well, I, I, I think it's a, a fight going on next door and somebody, somebody is either being hurt or killed. Can you go make sure? What? What? No, I can't. I said I think somebody is being killed. I ain't going next door. We'll send a car. Wait, you're not even gonna ask me the apartment number? Ma'am, 
I said we'd send somebody. Y'all always say you're gonna send somebody and nobody ever shows. I didn't call y'all like 50 times. I need you to lower your voice, okay? <sighs> and if you keep calling us all the time, how are we gonna know when it's an emergency? 911 is a resource, okay? I am saying somebody is being killed. Do you get that? Gosh. She has to feel like she's going crazy. Huh, I know what I do. I would have killed him when he was in my apartment. And now she has to hear the drill. Wow. And like she's trying. Like everything that she's doing, she's trying to like get the police to go over there and no one's doing anything. Yeah. So it's, just, it's like, she's not about to just walk up in there. That's when I become a vigilante. This perspective of like living next to a murderer and like hearing what they do, smelling what they do, and just not being able to see it, and nobody believes you. Right. Mm. That is a nightmare. You knew he was a monster. I know. But nobody heard me. I hear you, Glenda. I hear you. And finally, others have, too. Tomorrow, Chief Ariola is suspending the two officers who ignored you about the boy. Suspending? I'll be honest. It's just the first step in a marathon. It's nearly impossible to hold cops accountable. But this first step wouldn't have happened without you, Glenda. Your voice is going to make a difference. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay guys that was episode seven of Dahmer mm -hmm. Um, that was a really, that was probably one of my favorite episodes because it took us outside of Jeff's point of view and it gave us his neighbor's perspective. Yeah. Um, and that's something we've been wanting to see since the first episode. Um, yeah. yeah um, it, the end really showed how tortured she was living next to him and how crazy that whole situation was because she was literally smelling everything hearing everything she would see him he would be acting weird mm -hmm. and she, it, there was literally nothing she could do about it and i think it's especially even more um strange because she's a woman and he's a man mm. and it feels like i can't even just go over there with brute force and try to do something because you know yeah, you i know do what anything. he's doing um man that had to be that had to be crazy oh my gosh i would have turned into batman I would have turned to Daredevil and went over there and killed him. And the fact that the cops weren't even asking her any questions, like inquiring, like she was the person closest to everything yep. going on and they're just like, nah, because if we find out any more stuff, we're going to have to hold these cops accountable and we're not trying to do that at all. Oh, you're talking about when the cops wouldn't talk Interview to her? her. Yeah. yeah. And people yeah. from all other countries are asking and they're just like right there and they're like, nah, we're not trying to hear anything. Yeah. That's just so crazy to me. And and him going to her house with a freaking sandwich. What's crazy is that like we start off this video talking about how we're so tired of hearing how he talks and like how he manipulates people and plays the victim and we got the 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 most like victim oh i'm a victim oh you're wrong type of thing from him mm. we've seen so far i know and it, it was like it's bro my nuts. blood is boiling right now oh my gosh if i was there mm, i couldn't do nothing but i would kill him i would kill him so bad <laughs> choke him with the sandwich in his <laughs> neck oh my gosh like i can't even imagine her being in that moment in real life and just being like 
like what do I even do? Like what do I even do? I'm trying to do everything possible to get this man out of here. Yeah. And to have him like stop all this stuff. And no one's listening to me. She had to call the manager like 20 times just to get him evicted. Like just because he was a good tenant and he would pay. Like bro get him out. Ew. Yeah, yeah and then that one scene where he, he walks in and it like shows the perspective of the door. And it shows that it's still open. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking that was a really cool scene but like why are they showing that? And then you saw the, the crazy guy came into his you know you could see the craziness in his eyes. And then he like kind of like heard somebody throughout the door and he knew that the door was still open and he couldn't do anything mm -hmm. so then he left um and then i noticed when she said where is he he looked down at the sandwich she was like if you tell me where he is he was like i don't know and oh i guess he, he made the sandwich out of bowl <sighs> but she like the her actress nisi like she did very good yeah like she when she was crying i felt that john yeah so yeah Jesse Jackson for the win. Um, that was probably my, like, between that and this episode and the last one, like, those are, like, the best. It's hard this to one, say the this best. This one is, is better, easier to call the best because there's some type of victory in it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, we got him, um, and people are starting to see who he was, and, and you know? Yeah. Uh, her voice is being heard. Yeah. So, there's, like, a victory in this one. So, Finally. Because yeah. these yeah. last seven episodes are just, like... What do we do? Yeah. But yeah, very good. Okay, guys, that was Dahmer, episode seven. Um, this made it easier to watch. I, I'm, I'm ready for episode eight. Oh. Um, yeah, we love you guys. We're going to get the frick up out of here. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you thought about the episode. And we will see you next time. Love you guys. <laughs>